to show you um, basic motion tracking in After Effects. It's really easy, simple, and fast to use. All you need to do is just get a cinematic, drop that in. I've got this one from my Sex Bang preview. Um, you just want to drag it to the point where you want it to um, start tracking. Press Command Shift D, Control Shift D on a Windows, and just go along, along, along to the point where you want it to stop. Do the same there. And then what you want to do there is shorten the composition. This is what you're doing if you're just doing a single single motion track, but um if you're um like if you're doing this within like a entire edit, you don't want to shorten the composition. Basically you want to do this, then just resize it. So you don't have that thing on the right saying menu chase etc and then just pre press command shift D make sure it's on move all attributes into new composition um, once you've done that you just want to right click go track motion and um, you just want to make sure that you've only got one of these on your screen if you have two you probably check rotational scale then what you want to do is make sure you're hovering when it's a black arrow with the moving sign, bring that over to the corner of the sign or whatever you're tracking, like if you're tracking, I don't know, say this thing um, what you would do is you would bring this over that entire thing there, basically you only want to track stuff that stands out, so that's why I did these signs, because they stand out from the cinematic but um, you can do that with like that point there, it's something that stands out and it's easily like it's easy to um, distinguish it from the rest of the, the cinematic. Then once you've done that, just go over here to analyze forward, click that, and it's just going to basically play back the clip. And as it's doing it, it's going to analyze each frame, so it can work out whatever, wherever your thing that you've tracked is. Right, so now it's done. You need to make a new null object. Make sure you've selected your um, cinematic, go to edit target, null, one, and you want to click apply, x and y, then you just want to put some text in, um, so I'm going to quickly resize this, and we'll just put it there. Then what you want to do is get this pick whip. Well, you can click here basically just make sure you select that null object and then what should happen you should be able to RAM preview this and see that it's tracked it really smoothly and basically perfectly and so that's how I do all my um, 2D tracking in After Effects like simple pan um, cinematics like this really easy to do because the end. I don't know, it's just easy and um, make sure when you're tracking a cinematic make sure it's not moving too fast if you want it to move fast it's like record it slow and then just speed it up in After Effects after you've tracked it and all that so I um, hope this helps you out guys and um, thanks, see ya